Hey guys, in this video we're going to show you how to do a patch test which is for finding out if you have allergies, a strand test which will help you get the right color mixture for your hair, and then we're going to show you the step-by-step -step process for applying Arctic Fox hair color. Stay tuned! The first thing to do is a patch test. You want to do a patch test before coloring your hair to find out if you're allergic. Start by picking a small area either behind the ear or in the inner fold of your elbow. Wash that area and then apply a thin layer of Arctic Fox hair color to it. Then let it dry. This is the hardest part. You want to leave your test area uncovered and undisturbed for 24 hours. Now the fun part. Check out the test area carefully. Are there any signs of irritation? If not, go ahead and wash it off and get ready to dye your hair, cause you've earned it! Just kidding! Before you dye your hair, you should do a strand test. A strand test will help you figure out what the color will look like in your hair. To do a strand test, you may want some foil, an old t-shirt to keep from staining your nice clothes, and some gloves. First you want to wash your hair thoroughly and then completely dry it. But don't use conditioner, cause that might keep the color from working as well as it could. Now pick a 1 inch strand somewhere hidden for each color you're going to use. Then apply the color and work it into the test strands until it starts to look frothy. Then wrap the test strands with the foil to keep from getting color on anything else. Now wait for the color to do its thing. We recommend at least 30 minutes. Time's up! Go ahead and rinse out the test strands with cold water and make sure to keep it away from your eyes to avoid irritation. Rinse it out until the water runs clear. Now dry your hair and check it out. Does it look how you want it? Good! If it doesn't, it might be because of a few reasons. Your hair may not be light enough, or you might just need to dilute the color or mix other colors with it to get the results that you want. Our test strands look good though, so we're gonna go ahead and color. You'll probably want the following tools to help you out. Of course you want the hair color itself. You'll also want a bowl and a brush and some protective gloves, although some people don't mind getting their hands temporarily stained and go without them. You want a towel that you don't mind getting potentially stained, as well as something to cover the floor in case of drips. You may want some coconut oil to keep your skin around the hairline from getting stained. A plastic cap is also useful, but if you don't have one, you can just use a plastic grocery bag. Step 1. If you haven't yet, wash your hair but don't condition. Make sure your hair is completely dry. Step 2. Use your coconut oil or protective cream around your hairline and on your ears to prevent staining your skin. Step 3. Remove the bottle cap and the inner seal. Step 4. Put that old t-shirt on and those gloves and cover the floor if you haven't already. Step 5. Apply the color evenly with a brush. We suggest beginning at the roots and work your way out to the ends. Then in the back of the head, start at the nape of the neck and work your way upward. Be sure to completely saturate the hair. Don't be afraid to work it in with your hands or to grab a friend to help you out. Step 6. Put that plastic cap on and leave the color in your hair for at least 30 minutes. Step 7. Rinse it out. Using cold water will help the color stay better. Now you can dry your hair, style it, and show it off! Make sure to post pictures of your amazing new hair on Instagram and tag us so we can see what you've done. Also, check out some of these other videos. See you next time.